target teams are the Canada and USA A sites, the uh, Trinidad national team who are also going to be at the Commonwealth Games, um, the winners of the Premier League Sevens uh, Championship in the, in the UK, um, that they would represent the England. Then there are three other competitions in Scotland, Wales and Ireland who are targeting the winners of those um, to come to Barbados. Um, this would be with, through sponsorship a fully funded affair for them. So the, the advertising exposure of Barbados will get out of that is you win the Premier League Sevens, you win this competition, you have an all expenses paid trip to Barbados on an annual basis. Um, the, the target there is in the, in the first year to get 500 overseas visitors. Now, they don't necessarily have to come from the UK. I can pretty much guarantee you that if we have that level of competition in Barbados, <coughs> the Caribbean islands alone will, will uh, provide that number of spectators to come in and watch that you know, high level rugby, uh, which we just don't get in this region. Um, the, the players that, that uh, our boys are up against are some of the professionals uh, on the circuit in the Summer 7 series. Um, they've learned, you know, there, there's a difference from tournament to tournament, you're going to encounter a different standard of player. Obviously, when we go to the Commonwealth Games, we're going to meet New Zealand. We're the best in the world. Uh, so knowing exactly what you're going to come up against uh, very early on is good practice. But um, having that in your own backyard is, a, is another step again. It's something that the IRB is, is, has already told us they will endorse. Uh, one of our, our target teams is also Brazil, the host for the 2016. Olympics. Having a Barbados team participating in the UK Summer Sevens and then the Commonwealth Games uh, provided our the Barbados associations in the UK with a focal point for support. Um, that was uh, that support was galvanised by the BTA, who have come on board with us in a big way, and the Tourism Development Corporation, who are sponsoring our efforts. Um, the other motivation behind doing this was that we are planning an international sevens tournament in Barbados next year, September 2015. Um, of course, when the IHB and the BTA heard this, they were very interested in being part of that. Um, sports tourism has a major role to play in Barbados's recovery from the, the current uh, economic situation that we're in. And rugby has an even bigger uh, role to play in, in this region, especially with the Olympics uh, coming up next in, in 2016. The IRB is looking very closely at um, opportunities for staging uh, Tier 2 tournaments, which is the one below the, the big boys uh, for teams that are likely to make it to the Olympics, or have the, the chance to make it to the Olympics. And we are hoping that Barbados may be able to pick up one of those tournaments. That would be a massive, a massive coup for Barbados. Um, so we've been in talks with the BTA and the TDC and partners like the IHB about coming on board and supporting that effort and those talks have been going extremely well to date. The tournament that we're referring to, the uh, Barbados Midland Sevens tournament, was uh, a week and a half ago um, and it was a two-day tournament and we were fortunate enough to win that tournament beating Leicester Lions at National Two side, which is a good side. Um, we beat them in the final and our other side uh, won the plate, uh, beating Sutton Cofield in that plate final. So that was uh, that was a nice way to sort of start things off. Uh, we've continued on our players, uh, the local players from here that are over there staying at Sutton Cofield. Um, it's a great, it's a really good facility. It's a great rugby club, and uh, they're actually going to host uh, Romania and Samoa for World Cup. And they've just been a great house. And uh, the boys have fit in well. They train three times a day. Um, there's a CrossFit gym that's part of the club. It's a privately run. And they, they've taken us on and they've, uh, they've been great. They've been uh, working with the boys. And then um, we've got a chef in, as one of our players. And he's, um, and he's done a great job cooking. I've, I've eaten a bunch of his meals and it's, uh, he does a hell of a job. So uh, it's a really uh, coordinate, you know, it's 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 really a great effort by all the players. We've got one player who got us a great deal on some meats and turkey and chicken, and so we bought 600 pounds worth of uh, protein. So the players will have 14 to 16 ounces of protein every day, 
Um, you know, and that's one of the real handicaps in the Caribbean is they don't eat enough. They don't eat enough of the right food, and they don't eat it often enough. So, uh, and I think we have something like 500 pounds of pasta. So uh, they're getting a bit sick of the pasta, to be honest with you. Um, so it's uh, that's working out really well. And um, the guy, I can tell you, the guys are training really hard. I mean, uh, I, we're running the England Sevens fitness program. That's what we run. We use uh, their fitness program from last year, their sprint program. It's hard. It's hard. And um, and they're taking it on. So, um, yeah, they, I'm, I'm very pleased the way we're, where we're moving. And I'll see the boys in three weeks. It's be skin deep. If it's skin deep, all it takes is one bad play. If you want to look at confident guys, look at the Aussies. The Aussies are... You know the Aussies are arrogant, but that arrogance you just never break it down. Like if they don't if they don't have a good play, they just get up. It's like, well, and off they go. It never gets so they can penetrate the skin. You can get two inches deep, and it's still this. The Aussies are still the same way. They're arrogant. When you know that from following cricket, you know when the cricketers come here, do you ever get the sense that they're not arrogant? You know, but that arrogance is their confidence, and so if they ever feel like you know you don't see that. And that's what we want to kind of get to. We want to get to where it's just skin deep. You miss a tackle, not going to happen. So we don't use the word sorry. I can't stand the word sorry in a, on a rugby pitch. It's an awful word. But sorry means that you're excused for doing it. So you miss a tackle, you say sorry. What does that mean? It means uh, if I do it again, I'll be sorry next time. So what I like to sort of say to the boys is that don't say you're sorry. Just tell them it's not going to happen again. So, miss a tackle outside, tell a guy inside, not going to happen, not going to happen. So, that's how I believe in building confidence. It has to be really deep. It has to be an inner self that's, that's confident. And if it's not, it's so easy, it's too fragile for me. You know, what if I go and yell at the guy? <laughs> you know, and because uh, you've you got to use all kinds of things. You know, you build them up, you take them down, you build them up. You know, it, it, a lot of different techniques. And, uh, if the guy's fragile, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm concerned that maybe I'm going to do some of this confidence. I want those guys that have got an inner self that say, I can play this game. I've done the hard work, and preparation is key to it. That's why these boys that are over there right now training three times a day, they're doing the preparation, they're playing the games, they're building their confidence. Rugby has great, a great following in numerous Commonwealth countries, many of whom produce visitors to our shores. The affiliation with rugby now provides a further motivation to visit Barbados. What makes the IHB unique is our ability to offer affordable rates and an unparalleled service to these sports teams from a diverse selection of our accommodation. We have 50 members in our grouping and as I said before, a number of different accommodation options. Our hotels are willing to cater and tailor our accommodations to suit the players and even to assist in organizing transportation and any other requirements that the teams might have. We all know the importance of sports tourism and the statistics from the Barbados Tourism Authority confirm that thousands of persons visit our island strictly for sports tourism. Like the BTA, the IHB is keen to support the establishment of Barbados as a premier globally competitive destination known for producing sustainable world-class sporting events that can generate arrivals to the island all year round.